I'm Kasia Madeira in London, also in this programme. Lucy Hawkins there in Moscow in a rather stunningly lit red square. It is three in the morning now there. 90% of the votes counted, of course, once we get the final tally, we'll bring that to you. But we heard President Putin deny any knowledge about the poisoning of a former spy here in the UK. Later today, experts from the International Chemical Weapons Body will arrive here in the UK to test samples of the nerve agent used to poison that former spy. Well, we heard a speech following his election victory, Mr Putin insisting that Russia was just simply not responsible for the poisoning of the double agent Sergei Skripal and his daughter Yulia in Britain. He denied that Russia was running a chemical weapons program and he said that it had no stockpiles of the nerve agent Novichok. He also said that Moscow was ready to cooperate with the British investigation. There. Now let's take a look at what else is making the news. In Syria's President Bashar al-Assad has visited soldiers now, football players in Australia's professional league have been using their DIY skills, as you can see, after a shot on goal accidentally broke the net. Play was stopped for almost five minutes, while one of the players, armed with just electrical tape, was lifted onto the shoulders, as you can see, of some of the match officials to repair the damage. Now, this delay caused outrage in the commentary box and questions about a lack of ground staff, but actually the fans did seem to enjoy this DIY performance. Carl Griffith with the latest on those talks taking place in Sydney. We'll keep the focus on Australia because we're getting news of around 70 homes and buildings have been being destroyed in a large bushfire there. Also coming up on the programme, saving the world's largest fish. Congratulations to her. Now scientists say that they've achieved a breakthrough in the treatment of multiple sclerosis after the results of an international trial involving stem cell transplants. The study showed an improvement in symptoms and also the progress of the neurological condition halted. Our medical correspondent, Fergus Walsh, explains. What a brave guy, not just saving the sharks, but also working against those hunters. Incredible. Now, the Paralympic Winter Games have come to an end in Pyeongchang with a dramatic closing ceremony. Kate Gray was there for us and looks back at some of the most memorable moments. My colleague there, Lucy Hoggins, in a rather stunningly lit red square in Moscow. Well, addressing the crowds as the election results were coming in, Vladimir Putin denied any knowledge about the poisoning of a spy in the UK. Later on Monday, experts from the International Chemical Weapons Body will arrive here to test samples of the nerve agent which was used to poison that former spy. But in the speech following his election victory, Mr. Putin, well, he insisted that Russia was not responsible for the poisoning of the double agent Sergei Skripal and also his daughter Yulia in Britain. He denied that Russia was running a chemical weapons program and said that it had no stockpiles of the nerve agent Novichok. He also said that Moscow was ready to cooperate with the British investigation. Let's leave Russia for the moment and bring you up to date with today's other news stories because Syria's President Bashar al-Assad has visited soldiers in eastern Ghouta near Damascus, an area his forces have been trying to retake from the rebels. Oh, congratulations to her. Now let's turn to Washington where Donald Trump's White House lawyer says that the president is not considering firing the special prosecutor, Robert Mueller. Scientists say that they have achieved a breakthrough in the treatment of multiple sclerosis after the results of an international trial involving stem cell transplants. The study showed an improvement in symptoms and the progress of the neurological condition halted. Our medical correspondent, Fergus Walsh, explains. To take our minds off the robots taking over our jobs, let's have a look at some lovely spectacular fireworks.